New York City has a lot of zoning and code issues, and I would love for you to explain uh, a little bit about that. So um, there's two books we have to follow, the New York City Zoning Resolution and the New York City Building Code. And that building code is probably 15 or 20 books once you break down plumbing code, mechanical code, fire code, and things like that. Uh, a lot of people ask me, what's the difference? You know, Is this a zoning issue or a building code issue? The most fundamental way I could break it down is zoning is the law that city, the city planning commission creates. It analyzes the neighborhood and they dictate, hey, this seems like it's a good spot for a commercial strip. This is a good area for maybe townhomes. And maybe this is an area for beautiful custom one family homes. Um, in the outer skirts of the city is usually the manufacturing, which is uh, the more dirty uses, right? Uh, auto, auto repair or um, wholesale establishments, um, Amazon, you know, warehouses, things like that. The zoning will determine heights of building and the type of building. The last thing you want to do is buy a beautiful one family mansion and right next to you is a Starbucks. So zoning is what creates that. Building code is more technical issues like the height of a handrail or if a building needs a sprinkler system or um, the size of a window for egress in case of emergency, uh, fire escapes, uh, things like that. So when whenever you work on your home or you're going to work with an architect engineer, there's going to be zoning requirements and building code requirements. From your experience, can zoning change? Zoning changes all the time. There are special district, districts created to protect certain neighborhoods. Over my career, I've seen several different zoning changes, and you can actually propose if you own a piece of property to change to change your block as well. Um, if you feel there's a better use for that space, and that's uh, you know through the city planning commission and through a bunch of variances, which is a much complicated process. But yeah, um, we've seen neighborhoods change in zoning a few times over the last so, twenty years. So um, if I'm a, a homeowner, I have a property, and I want I'm thinking about changing the zone. Would I? Initially had that conversation with the architect. Yes. So whether or not what's what's it going to take to do this, and then yeah. okay. So before anybody buys a piece of land, they could consult, they should consult with an architect and saying, hey, what can I build here? Gotcha. They might know it's residential, but how big? You know, gotcha. is it a five thousand square foot house? Is it a ten thousand square foot house? Is it a semi? Is it a townhouse? Detached home. Gotcha.